Hey guys, Taylor here. Okay, I don't have much time to explain this, but my project essentially um, utilized Lorna de Cervantes' poem, Poem to the Young White Man Who Asked Me How I, an Intelligent, Well-Read Person, Could Believe in a War Between Races. And I felt as though this poem was incredibly important to everything that we've kind of learned and absorbed in this class as a whole throughout the year. Especially when you look at the last lines where she says, I do not believe in a war between races, but in this country there is war. I think it's really um, telling those last lines because whether we like it or not, whether we want to believe it or not, um, whether we want to be in a war or not, we're in one. And I think it's silly to say we're not for the sake of... Um, I guess like trying to move forward. I think the only way to truly move forward is to acknowledge these things and I felt that this poem did a really amazing job of acknowledging that there are many oppressive and divisive forces in our society that pit races against each other and they need to be discussed instead of just um, brushed away. So. I hope you enjoy and yeah, oh, I, yeah, enjoy. <laughs> In my land, there are no distinctions. The barbed wire politics of oppression have been torn down long ago. The only reminder of past battles lost or won is a slight. Writing in the fertile fields. In my land, people write poems about love full of nothing but contented, childlike syllables. Everyone reads Russian short stories and weeps. There are no boundaries. There is no hunger. No. Complicated famine or greed. I am not a revolutionary. I don't even like political poems. Do you think I can believe in a war between races? I can deny it. I can forget about it. When I'm sick. Living on my own continent of harmony. And home, but I am not. I believe in revolution. Because everywhere the crosses are burning. Sharp shooting goose steppers round every corner. There are snipers in the school. I know you don't believe this. You think this is nothing. But faddish exaggeration, but they. Are not shooting at you. I'm marked by the color of my skin. The bullets are discreet and designed to kill slowly. They are aiming at my children. These are facts. Let me show you my wounds, my stumbling mind, my. My excuse me, tongue, and this. Nagging preoccupation. With the feeling of not being good enough. These bullets bury deeper than logic. Racism is not intellectual. I cannot reason these scars away. Outside my door, there's a real enemy. Who hates me? I am a poet. Who yearns to dance on rooftops. To whisper delicate lines about joy. And the blessings of human understanding. I try. I go to my land, my tower of words, and... Bolt the door, but the typewriter does not fall out. The sound of blasting and muffled outrage. My own days bring me slaps on the face. Every day I'm deluged with reminders. That this is not my land. And this is my land. I do not believe in the war between races. But in this country... There is war. Hi guys, I forgot to add this in the last video, but I just wanted to say I also really appreciated this class. Thank you, Professor Akamondo, for making it such a wonderful, nourishing learning environment. Thank you guys for being the best classmates ever. Thank you, Londa. Thank you, Yolanda, for being in my video also, and for um, being the best student aide. I hope you guys have a great break and a wonderful new semester. I hope to see you guys around.